Hello, welcome back. So, in its uh, second developmental flight, ISRO's SSLV successfully placed all three satellites, EOS 07, Janus 1, and Azadi Sat 1, in its desired orbits. Let me uh, go across uh, to Mr. Ravi, who is uh, continue, uh, who continues to be with us in the broadcast. Mr. Ravi, that the new vehicle was uh, developed to further ISRO's efforts towards capturing uh, the emerging small and micro satellite commercial market. How it is going to bring uh, and it, uh, how it is going to be perhaps a new dawn for the space sector in India. See, today's development, a successful flight of SSLB D2 is a game changer as far as the commercial satellite launch is concerned. The basic aim of this flight was a technology demonstrator to prove the various technologies that have are aimed at reducing the cost and reducing the turnaround time. Now, by cost means, because today, if you want to compete in the world market, your cost has to be as low as possible. Already, India, ISRO, has a uh, track record of setting the satellites into space at a very, very nominal cost. But this thing has to be further reduced. Now, another aspect is the uh, satellite on uh, launch on demand capability. Now, what happens is, today, the dependence on space assets is very high. Now, in the eventuality of any emergency, maybe caused by some uh, uh, kind of a war or a, any other purpose, because of the, some, say, uh, destruction of the satellite due to uh, heavy solar radiation, which happens time to time. Now, we need to quickly come back with the new satellite. Now, this is the uh, satellite launch on demand capability where you can quickly recover, uh, reinstall your new satellite. So as you said, uh, we have seen uh, in August we had the first flight with a minor fall. Uh, the, it was a mission was a failure. Yes. But I won't call it a failure because from that mission, the first mission, we learned a lot. And, and what, now, uh, Mr. Maybe, Gupta, makes it more special is that uh, amongst one of the satellites which have been launched, uh, which is Azadi Sat, uh, for which 749 other girls studying in government schools across the country came together to create the Azadi Sat 2.0 satellite. And this is what makes it more crucial and it is, of course, going to add on to India's space sector. Well, thank you, Mr. Gupta, for joining in and sharing your crucial insights on this story.